Okay, so today I am going to be going over one of the, in my opinion, one of the best things to flip in the auction house because some people still don't know how to flip for whatever reason or they just don't know what to flip. So, there you go. One, I'll be going over one of the best things to flip in the auction house and hopefully this will help help you learn how to flip I guess but before that 400 subs that might change to 450 depending on how fast this channel starts growing because I just recently just did a 300 sub giveaway for like 40 mil and I don't want to be making these too consistent because, as you can see, I have 98 mil. I have some in the auction house just, just waiting to be sold from two flips. Yep, two flips. So yeah, that's that's why I don't want to make this too consistent because. That's a lot of money, but other than that, we will be doing small giveaways too. One mil, two mil, sometimes five mil. Multiple winners sometimes too. So if you want free money, go to the Discord server and you can keep up with our giveaways. So auction flipping. The quickest explanation I can say for auction flipping is you buy an item for cheap and sell it for higher. I don't know what part of that is complicated for people. For me, this is probably the most brainless way to make money. I don't know if you'll believe me in saying this, but this took me, these two flips took me like a minute and a half to find and this one is a two mil flip because it was originally 43 mil and this one was 32 mil and I'm selling it for 33 so yeah minute and a half these were all based on what the current auction prices are so I'd say they're a fair price now one of the best things to flip is a livid dagger and it can be anything i for the sake of finding a flip and hold on <laughs> that is a two star seven and a half so right away it's about a 300k flip maybe 200k because that doesn't have that many enchants. But if you buy this one, you can probably squeeze in 300k for here, for this one. But for the sake of it, I'm going to be doing 5 star mythic. If not 5 star legendary, if I can't find a mythic one. So let's just quickly look. Now why this is one of the best ones to flip is because there are so many livid daggers in the auction house and they all have a different mix of enchants so it's easier to tell what their value is just from looking at it like this one I can probably sell for Maybe up to here. Not even. That was a bad example. Okay, but this one. I can probably make it just below this one. Which is... A 300k. 300k profit from just eyeballing it. I'd say it's pretty good. Now, let me see if I can actually find a flip. 
Smite 7. Yeah, you can see just how just how much people find or want good livid daggers. Because the ones I actually want to flip being bought. Like, look at that. Someone bought that one. That one isn't even found. I mean, someone bought it. This one. It's still here. Okay. Where was where was the one with a lot of enchants? Did that, did that one get bought too? Yeah, it did. It did get bought. Someone bought it. So you can see Liva Daggers sell pretty fast. And Soul Eater 3. Hold on, I haven't seen a Soul Eater 3 yet. Let me hold that. I mean, its enchants could be a little better. Yeah, it could be a little better. It's less than 500k. I usually like to go for 1 mil. Because to me, that's safe. That's the safest range I'll go for. At the absolute minimum. Let me go to Legendary. Okay, let me go to Legendary. Let me see if I can make... Flip here. I didn't think the first one would be... Would be there. But it's always nice to think. So leader 2... Someone bought that. Okay, I can do this. I can do this one. Uh, 10.9, I'm just gonna say 11 mil. Um... No soul leaders. Soul leader 3. Not bad. Suspicious? This is also suspicious. Uh, 12 mil. This is 11 mil. So leader. I'd say a, at least a few hundred K from it. Just from looking at the differences. But a hundred, a few hundred K. That can go a long way. But if you want another flip, which I think is cheaper. You can go Storm, Storm Boots, and why? Okay, I want the Mythic ones to be shown too. Legendary, uh, Wisdom. Now, I usually look for ones with... Hold on. Man, someone bought this. Okay, I'm just gonna see if I can use this one as an example. Wisdom 5, Feather Falling 10, Sugar Rush 3. The only thing that's sad about it, it only has Rejuvenate 4, but it has everything else. It has Necrotic, it has Hot Potato Books, it's 5 star. I'm pretty sure you can buy another Rejuvenate 4 book, no problem. But this one, 8.5, I could have turned this into... 12. I could have turned that into 12 mil. Maybe 11 mil. Just so I don't highball it. And have a better chance of selling it. But 8.5 to 12. Or 11. That. Is insane profit. And I know someone would buy it. Because well. It's a pretty good pair of boots. Now this one, I'm probably not going to be able to touch it anymore. Yeah, I, there's no way. Yeah, absolutely no way I can flip these these boots. So Storm Boots, Storm Leggings are relatively cheap as well. If I do that, 7 mil. For... No stars, that's not bad. Hold on. Oh, nope, that's last stand. I don't really like last stand. Because, well, I don't know if it's going to sell or not. Because wisdom is the preferred enchantment. For storm. 
And I want to keep it that way. This one's doable. 8 mil. 18 mil. I don't know why I said 8. 18 mil. Uh, okay. I can make this into... Probably... Yeah, 700k profit. I'm just going to match him because, well, growth 6 makes a difference between you want this one or this one. So that one, 700k profit. And again, that was just from a few minutes of me just looking around in the auction house. Is there really no... There's really no five-star helmets. That's actually kind of surprising. Uh, sure. We'll try it. There's this one. 5.5. I don't think people buy storm helmets because wither goggles exist. So, let's not do that. Now, you're probably also noticing, if you made it this far in the video, I am only looking at weapons and armor. And because, because, these are the easiest things to eyeball. Because let's say, let's say you're just skimming around, and you see, you see the pink letters. This is instantly an option that you should consider. So you just keep looking. And if you see one that's better than this one, then obviously you don't buy it. But then you just look at the next one. So this one, Wisdom 5. Now obviously the next one is way better. I don't even know why Wisdom's on here. But... You would check for pretty much anything you feel is better. And if it's not better, then you have yourselves a flip. So in my case, with the Necron chest plate, I bought it around, around this range. It wasn't the 43 mil, but I'm just going to say this range. Right here in the middle. Yeah. And I matched it with 45 mil because if you look at this, I don't know what other people would normally buy, but I would buy the one with the Reforge. I would buy the one with the Ultimate Enchant. And still has Protection 6. And True Proc. This one also has protection 6, growth 6, and true prot. But it does not have any hot potato books like this one. It does not have a reforge. And it does not have an ultimate enchant. So that's an easy... That was an easy match. Because I can't match uh, mythic. Yeah, I can't, I can't match mythic items, but this one, my flip, or my item, compared to this one, it's clear to see which one people would rather buy. So, yeah, my current trend is weapons and armor. You can do pets too, I think they're relatively easy, because, well, it's just level base. Level based, how many candies have been used, and the item they're holding. So three things to consider. This one, you have to consider stars, enchants, hot potato books. I think that's it. Oh, reforge. So a few more things to look at, but I do feel... Weapons and armor is slightly easier to do. You can do anything 
Like, if you want even cheaper, you can go Shadow Assassin. Because this is really cheap. These things used to be expensive. But yeah, a few flips here. If I filter it's a 5 star, you can literally just look at that. Many options. So, just take your time, learn prices, it'll all work itself out in the end. For me, it took me like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to find, or not to find, to be able to spot a few good flips. And I've just been getting better at it. And I hope to be getting better at it so I don't just keep eyeballing the best stuff. And selling it for hire. Because probably in that little sequence, I'll be honest, in this little sequence that I was doing with the Necron chest plate, I probably missed out on on several good flips because I was on one, I was only looking at five stars. And two, there are other options. There's no stars. One, two, three, four stars. And of course the mythic. The mythic variants of them. So, a lot of things to look at. But, it won't take up a lot of time. This money making method is one of the easiest to do. And nothing you say will ever change my mind about that. I was even able to teach someone how to auction flip at least books, which I'll be going over next time, I think. Yeah, next time I'll probably be going over auction flipping books. But I was able to teach him how to do it with literally just saying, Find, find the book range, and pull out a calculator, multiply that level 1 book by like 16 or something, and that's going to be how much you're going to spend, and compare that with the current, the current highest level book, and well, there you go, you got yourself a flip, and from that he was just flipping all day but for now i'll end it here i'll go over books next time and we'll see you in the next video